What's going on guys? Welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. Today we're going to be building a hydraulic press for axe and hammer handles. The most common way to attach a hammer handle or axe handle is to take the handle, insert it into the eye of the axe or hammer, then take another hammer and pound the back of the handle until it fully sticks out from the eye and you can't move it anymore. And then what you do is you take your wedge, you stick it in, you could use glue or you could use another metal wedge after that. And then you take the hammer again and pound the wedge in. And this works pretty well. I've done it for all my axes and hammers so far. Uh, but I think a hydraulic press will provide a much tighter fit. And also, normally when you're pounding the wedges in, a lot of times they could crack. So by using a press, I think it would cut down on that a lot. I just wanted to lay out all the parts for you guys so you could see the design I came up with. I have a six ton bottle jack that I got from Home Depot. Um, I think this moves about six or seven inches, uh, which is plenty for what I need. I have two 48 inch long pieces of two inch square tubing. I have another six inch long piece of two inch square tubing. I have a 10 inch piece of half inch plate that's three inches uh, wide. And this is gonna slide up and down and get bolted in through a bunch of holes that I'm gonna drill in here. And so if I have a shorter hammer handle, I'll slide this down and then, well there's actually gonna be two of these, one on this side, one on the other side, but I can't show it to you right now since it's on the ground. But it's gonna slide down and if I have a short hammer handle, it'll press that in. And then if I have a huge long felling ax handle, I'll move this all the way up here, bolt it in the holes, and I have a much larger distance to accommodate a big handle. Okay guys, so I just finished the press. It came out great and I want to walk you through the design. Um, basically the two main supports are two inch square tubing. They're 48 inches long. I drilled holes on both sides, four inches apart. Um, and that's so these pieces of plate can be attached to it. These are half inch pieces of plate, three inches by 10 inches. Um, and I bolted those through there. The bottom has inch and a half tube. There's three pieces, two longer ones that are 24 inches long and then a shorter one in between that the bottle jack sits on. Um, I just tacked the bottle jack to there. Uh, I didn't want to permanently weld it, so in case I ever need to use the bottle jack, I could just come in with a grinder and pop that thing off, but the tacks hold it in place. And then for the feet, I just have two pieces of angle. Um, it's not critical that these are angle. You definitely could use tube. Um, I ran out of tube, so I just ended up using angle. 
I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at how this thing actually works. Basically what you would do is you would take your axe or hammer, uh, you'd put the handle in slightly, then what you would do is you'd put it over here, you could adjust the height using this little screw, and you would also adjust these pieces of plate depending on how long your handle is. You'd place it under here, you would just start pumping, and eventually the head of the hammer or axe is going to push up against here, and you're going to be able to drive the handle deeper and deeper into the eye. Now this hammer has already been attached to the handle, uh, so it's not going to go any farther, but if it was a new hammer, the handle would continue to go deeper into the eye, it would stick out the back, then you could unscrew the little knob down here which releases the pressure. You'd insert your wedge, and you'd come back to the press and drive the wedge in with the press. Now I don't have um, something flat to push against yet for the wedge, but I'm probably going to make something that attaches to the bottom of this, uh, probably a thick piece of plate that'll drive the wedge into the hammer or axe. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something from it today. I have a feeling this press is going to be very useful to me in the future and maybe it'll be useful to you guys too. Before I go, I just want to remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos just like this almost every day, so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. Also, I have an Instagram account. I'll link it in the description below. I post all sorts of cool stuff on there, uh, so it would be really awesome if you guys went and followed me there too. I'll see you guys in the next one.